Funeral for a fallen Lincoln, Nebraska police officer with local ties has been set for this weekend. Officer Mario Herrera died yesterday from gunshot wounds suffered two weeks ago. Herrera grew up in northwest Missouri, graduating from Mid Buchanan High School before his 23-year career with the Lincoln Police Department. KQ2's Madeline McLean sharing how his childhood friends are remembering him. When you're a kid, you laugh and you Probably joke and you play. What I remember most is him being really funny and fun and a little bit ornery, um, which we all kind of were, I guess, but he was, he liked to laugh and cut up. You think your best friend will be your best friend forever? They all came here as uh, California kids. Mm -hmm. um, perhaps not the most thrilled at moving from Los Angeles to a small town with no skateboard parks. <laughs> Clara Landis, Dan Batliner, and Mario Herrera all grew up in Fawcett, attending mid-buck schools, graduating from high school in 1988. Our class size was 35. Yeah, 35 you know, people. And most of those kids went to get, we, we went to school together from kindergarten through, through senior year, so we were all very close-knit. We spent every day together. Then you grow up, and that illusion cracks, or in this case, shatters. Herrera died Monday. He had moved to Nebraska and spent the last 23 years as a police officer in Lincoln. He was shot in late August while serving a warrant in connection to a murder. I think we all followed that really closely of how he was fighting for his life and um, the public outpouring of you know good faith and hope and people praying and then to hear that he finally succumbed to those injuries just shocking and sad and a little bit angry. Herrera, a police officer, a husband, father of four. For his friends, it's hard to describe him or what it's like to lose him. Even though we don't see each other all the time, we may see each other every other year, every 10 years, every 20 years, or maybe not at all, but you've spent so much time with that person and you have such a connection of all those years that you had experiences together, you grew up together. So yeah, it's really difficult. It's like losing a family member. Very difficult. It's unfair and heartbreaking. And it's also Herrera's parting gift to his friends and family. I think everybody gets these reminders now and then that uh, time is short. I just drove through Lincoln a month ago on the way to Colorado, not in an opportunity to stop and said, all right, definitely in September is when we'll get together. And yeah, it's just shocking to, you know, to, to lose that opportunity and gives you the reminder that sometimes things happen very quickly and you mm -hmm. need to take advantage of opportunities when you can. Reporting in Fawcett, Madeline McLean, KQ2 News. If you'd like to donate to a GoFundMe account set up for Herrera, his wife and four children, it is still up. The link will be on our website at KQ2.com. It's raised more than $147,000. The goal was just $1,000.